Welcome back to my YouTube channel. For today's video, we will be practicing your problem-solving skills involving force, acceleration, velocity, and of course, centripetal motion. Let's start! Calculate your own weight by multiplying your mass in kilograms and acceleration due to gravity. Now take note that the formula for weight is the same with the formula of force. So in this case, we will be using force is equal to mass times the acceleration. So simply change F with W. Anyway, they're just we will be using the same formula, only we will substitute F with W to indicate that we are calculating for the value of our weight. So weight is equal to mass times acceleration. In the problem, you will be using your own mass. Now in this case, I will be using my own mass too. So I am 58 kilograms and I will multiply it with the acceleration due to gravity which is given in the problem and that is 9.8 meters per second square. And my answer will be 568.4 newtons. This is now my weight. Okay? Remember, weight is different from your mass. If you will be asked what is your weight, it should be expressed in newton. If you will be asked what is your mass, it should be expressed in kilogram. Remember that the unit for mass is kilogram and the unit for, fo for force or for weight is newton. And by the way, one newton is also equal to one kilogram per meter per second squared. That's it. And another one, you have to remember that your weight varies depending on the acceleration due to gravity of a certain planet. So your weight changes when you go to Mars or when you go to the moon, but your mass remains the same. Alright? Your mass do not change or your mass does not change, but your weight does. Okay? Because again, your weight is affected by the gravity or it is affected by the pull of gravity. So on Earth, the acceleration due to gravity is 9.8 meters per second square. But when you go to Mars, the acceleration due to gravity is simply one-third or almost one-third of that the earth that's why your weight will automatically change and again and again your weight will change but your mass will not so now for this case we will be calculating my weight on mars or if i go to mars what do you think will be my weight now we will be using again my mass which is 58 kilograms and same formula, W or weight is equal to mass times acceleration. Now the question is, what is the acceleration due to gravity on Mars? So the acceleration due to gravity on Mars is 3.71 meters per second squared. That is almost one-third of the acceleration due to gravity on Earth. Okay, so my mass again is 58 kilograms. I, multiply, I will multiply it with... The acceleration due to gravity on Mars, which is 3.71 meters per second squared. Now, my final answer will be 215.18 newtons. Alright? So, notice that my weight on Mars is 215.18 newtons, but my weight on Earth in our previous problem was 568.4 newtons. See? Again, weight varies depending on the gravity of a certain plan planet or of a certain celestial body while your mass will always remain the same. Before we solve any problem, let us first identify the given. In the problem, we have the mass of the car which is 600 kilograms. The final velocity is 50 meter per second. And what do you think is our initial velocity? Since the car was from rest, if your answer is zero, you are right. Remember, if an object or if a car or if a vehicle was from rest, automatically its accelerate or its velocity is zero meter per 
half second. And the time it took for the car to accelerate is 10 seconds. Now note that what we are looking for in the first question is the acceleration of the car. So what formula do you think we will use? Alright, so we will be using the formula A is equal to final velocity minus initial velocity. And we will divide it by that time. So in this problem, the final velocity is 50 meters per second. And our initial velocity is 0 meter per second. What is our time? It's 10 seconds. So we will be subtracting 0 from 50. Of course, the answer is still 50 meter per second. 50 meters per second and then let's divide it by 10 seconds. 50 divided by 10, the answer is 5 meters per second squared. And this is now our acceleration. Alright? 5 meters per second squared. Now we are already down to our first question. Let's now go to our question B. How much force is required to accelerate it? Okay, so we are looking for the force. So as you know, the formula of force is F is equal to mass times acceleration. We, are, we were already able to solve for the value of acceleration and that is 5 meters per second squared. Now the mass, go back to the given, the mass of the car is 600 kilograms. So here, 600 kilograms, multiply it with the acceleration, which is 5 meters per second squared. Now, your answer will be 3,000 newtons, or you may write also there, as per per second squared. Okay? So here is now your force required to accelerate the car. Now, what do you think we are looking for? So, we are looking for the force, right? Force exerted on the iron bar. Now, if you can recall, the formula for force is mass times acceleration. Now, in the problem, the mass of the iron bar is how much? 2.5 kilograms. Okay? And the acceleration of um, the iron bar is 1.5 meters per second squared. Now, all we have to do is simply multiply 2.5 by 1.5 meters per second squared. And what is your answer? So your answer is 3.75 newtons. As simple as that. So this is now the force needed for the iron bar to be accelerated. For our questions, what is the velocity of a 0.02 kilogram dried mango pulp stuck to the inside wall of the blender? And letter B, what is the centripetal acceleration? And the third one is what is the centripetal force? But before proceeding or but before going to the problem solving, we will first identify the given in the problem. So let's have the radius of the blender which is 0 0.25 meter then uh, the period which is represented by capital T is 50 seconds the mass of the pulp or mass of the mango pulp is 0 0.02 kilogram all right so now let's proceed to the problem solving we, the first thing that we are going to look for in the problem is the velocity. Okay? The second one will be the centripetal acceleration. 
and the third one will be the centripetal force. Now let's go first with the velocity. So remember that the formula for velocity is V or centripetal velocity is V is equal to 2 pi r over t. Alright? So again, we are going to look for the velocity of the dried mango pulp that is stuck, stuck on to the wall of the blender. So 2 multiplied by the value of pi. So in this case, we will be using 3.14. And multiplied by the radius of our blender, which is 0 0.14. 25 meter then divided by the time or the period which is 50 second now let's multiply 3.14 by 2 so the answer will be 6.28 now let's just copy this one 0 0.25 meter then divided by 50 seconds so 6 0.28 multiplied by 0 0.25 meter the answer will be 1.57 meter and now let's divide it by the period which is 50 seconds so the answer will be 0 0.0314 meter per second so this is now the velocity of the dried mango pulp that is stuck to the wall of our blender. Now let's proceed to our um, second requirement in the problem or the second quantity or second value that we're looking for and that is the value of our centripetal acceleration. So as you know the value of centripetal acceleration is A C C stands for centripetal, A stands for acceleration. A sub C is equal to V squared over R. Now V stands for the velocity, the one which the one which we solved a while ago, and R stands for the radius of the blender. So again, we are looking for the centripetal acceleration of the dried mango pulp. Okay, so the velocity is 0 0.0314 meter per second and we are going to multiply it by itself before we divide it by the radius of our blender which is 0 0.25 meter okay so 0 0.0314 squared so the answer will be 0 0.000986 meter squared per second squared why meter squared per second squared it's because we did not only multiply um, the number by itself we also multiply the meter by itself as well as the second by itself so we have 0 0.000986 meter squared per second squared then let's divide it by 0 0.25 meter so cancel since we have 2m here where we are going to cancel 1m and cancel the m here or the meter here so the final answer for our centripetal acceleration will be 0 0.003944 meter per second squared so this is now our centripetal acceleration so we are already done with our centripetal acceleration. Now let's proceed to um, our last requirement in our problem solving. Let's have centripetal force. Okay, in our previous lesson, you already know that the value or sorry, the formula for centripetal acceleration is Fc is equal to mass times centripetal acceleration okay so let's just substitute the value of our the mass of our pulp here which is 0 0.02 kilogram now our centripetal acceleration the one that we solved a while ago is 0 0.003944 
meter per second squared. Okay? So let us now multiply um, this one to find out the correct answer. Let's see. 0 0.02 times 0 0.00398 Four, four. So, your answer should be 0 0.00079 newtons. Alright? So, this is now your answer. You may also convert this one into scientific notation. You simply have to move places from left to right. So, in this case, one, two, three, four, and five. So we can also write it this way: seven point nine times ten raised to the power of negative five newtons. Okay, because one rule in scientific notation is that you're going to um, leave one non-zero digit to the leftmost part of the notation, just like in this case. Okay. Please hit like and subscribe for more science videos and tutorials. Thank you!